Hello, I present Specialized Rockhopper Pro from 2018 in size large with this super eye-catching satin rocket red color. Pro was the highest version at that time, it cost over 1100 euros and was available in two colors. If you are also interested in other versions and generations of Rockhoppers, you will find links to them in the upper right corner and in the description. 2018 models were the first one with internal cable routing and I think it's a plus. It is simple, look nice, is very minimalistic and I had no problems with it. Another advantage is that the frame has a tapered head tube with integrated headsets and is made of A1 SL aluminium, so it is the lightest and has butted tubes. Classically for rock hoppers, handlebar, grips, stem, saddle seat post wheels, tires and cranks are branded by Stout, so specialized company. A very nice touch is that you can still find here easy to service external threaded bottom bracket, in this case replaced with Shimano XT. Unfortunately, despite high catalog price, Specialized made some savings, because shifters are Shimano Dior and Derailleur is a solid SLX with clutch, but cassette was made by Sunrays. Luckily, it is already replaced with better SRAM. I invite you to like and subscribe this channel, which helps a lot and motivates to create new movies. Altus hydraulic brakes are also almost the lowest level and do not impress with its power. In the front you won't find a RockShox fork either, instead there is a Magneto Mark IV, although some may consider it as a plus. This bike also differs from stock one with its drivetrain, which was changed to 1x10. Originally it had front derailleur, now it is just a narrow wide decas chainring, which I can honestly recommend. Stock ground control tires was replaced with Schwalbe Thunderbird with Addix Speed Grip Compound, which is probably even faster than my favorite race kings. In this configuration, Specialized weighs less than 12 kg, which is in my opinion a great result. Rock Hopper is a really nice bike. And as you can see, despite its age and that it has the third owner now, it still looks pretty good. I think it's a very good option for such a universal bike for everyday riding and even for longer trips. It is solid, durable, light, looks nice and is free of many things that make life difficult in new bikes, like press fit bottom bracket, cables going through the head tube of the frame or strange hub spacing. Thanks to that, its service is simple, fast and relatively cheap. Soon I will upload more videos with upgrading next generations of rock hoppers, so stay tuned! Thanks for watching, if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. See ya!